Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This episode will be exploring the civilian slash military sector and we'll be doing a lot of trading in here and we're also slowly building our ship. With everything done over here, it's jump time to jump out into the next sector. This is uh, some kind of a civilian sector. It has uh, one of those hall building bases and then there's also a research base and that's quite interesting because i think you can buy the research from from these ships or bases and um yeah it kind of opens up an interesting uh, play play mode where you don't actually build the research um stations yourself you can just outsource the research to these i think i don't know how these things works i will have to explore this option at some point which means before i get the last last research done i will have to actually go into one of these and buy the research points because i want to see how this thing works i want to see how 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 it how it functions what do you get from this and see if this see if it's viable uh research source just scrapping their relics and buying the rest of the points from the ships can you get all the research done that way so that would be interesting to see There's a lot of there's a lot of logistical things that there's a lot of logistical things wrong with this ship and and the way I've designed it. There's just a lot of stuff that's w so badly done, so badly done. And as I said before, I really should redo the ship. Maybe it would be better to just um, build a new ship and just move everything over there. Could be, yeah, could be a nice idea and uh, start fresh. But yeah, we'll see how how I can manage this. And to be honest, I am kind of thinking about doing a logistic tutorial for the game, as it would kind of help me out a little bit more make certain things crystal clear to myself as well as i do have to stop and wait and just think about these things what's important where should everyone everything be yeah how, how would everything work how is everything connected and we got the ore processor done and we're also ready to jump to the next sector. It's gonna be an empty sector so we're just gonna skip that and go to another one which has a military base and a derelict as well. So that's gonna be interesting. And, and here we also got our civilian ship. So we're doing a little bit of trading here before we uh, take down the derelict here. We also got some asteroids coming on. We really should have uh, positioned ourselves better in regards to the asteroids. Because uh, we could have used the base uh, to give us some protection. But we did not know where the asteroids were coming from. We do get a little bit of, little bit of uh, protection from the base, but yeah, we could have uh, positioned ourselves better if we had known where the asteroids are coming. So here we go. We have SGS under the radar over here. So that's that's the derelict we're uh, exploring. Let's see, I always want to take the uh, 
open uh, part of the derelict or the um, most damaged part of the derelict for our entry point. No, I don't want to use those airlocks because it kind of leaves us in, in a small area and we get a little bit more. Okay, we're taking uh, being attacked from behind. Uh, we we take a little bit of a or, or we're a little bit in a better position in my opinion if we're being attacked um, if we're in the open. Yeah, we got a little bit more maneuverability, I think. There's there's something there's a bot behind us. Oh well, um, let's continue. We've got. Yeah, we'll take we'll take that we'll take care of that bot later on. We'll explore this side over here. Just make sure there's no bots here. Don't want to come back. I can't see that bot. I don't know. Maybe it's coming from the from the. Uh, space station. I mean, it is rather close by, so maybe that's firing the bots. Maybe they can see the bots. I don't, I don't know. Kind of odd that I can't see the bots. They're just... But looks like there's something firing at me. Firing, but there are turrets there, so uh, who knows. Don't know the game well enough to understand how how these things work and it's, yeah it has to be teddy to open the door or was it someone else anyway exploring the last part of the ship and we yeah we got some goodies there Eh, nothing here. Oh, what is that? Okay, something, some kind of a high-tech, high-tech fabric or high-tech item. Yep, we still need to look. We need to uh, research that. Okay, there's a black bag, fog of war there. So let's see if we can. I think there was an eyeball here. Uh, oh. There we go. Yep, yep. There was an eyeball uh, behind us. Okay, come on, guys. Take it down before you run out of oxygen. And Teddy, you can help. Okay, probably not. It's not gonna last. Okay, we're done. And uh, yep, one draft all. Thank you. And we'll get. Same old routine, uh, pick up everything, move it onto our ship, and then scrap everything and bring it back to our ship as well. Also, we got a, we got a second ship in here. Maybe we can do some trading there as well. Another thing I would like is to have some nodes on the system map. So the ability to add nodes to the system map would be nice. Would help me out on uh, figuring out where good trades are and that sort of stuff. The, the less I have to use paper uh, next to the uh, game itself, it, the better. I have to say, there's a lot of traffic on this system. So we got a base here and ships coming in, going out all the time. So I'm wondering, um, I can buy raw chemicals and I can turn that into chemicals and fertilizer. And yeah, those are pretty pricey. We, we can get a lot of money out of those. So, what if we just stay here and buy chemicals and use that, and then turn those into, say, 
fertilizer, which means we our food production is going up and pretty much secure. Then we can uh, we can sell the extras and buy water or ice, preferably ice, and some energy rods or an energy if I mean that might be cheaper. And just stay here. Just take down the engines and uh, leave off doing trading. That could be interesting. And uh, yeah, I might actually try that out. We do need to get well. We do need to get enough um, solar panels running so that we can run run the ship or and and. and save our energy reserves because that, that's going to be the problem i'm assuming assuming that the ships we get in here they get resupplied when they go out and and come back at some point so that they uh, their inventory resets if the if the inventory doesn't reset then there's then there's no hope we and that's a that's a that's a dead plan but it is something that I might want to try out later on so yeah I might do a hard save over here and check later whether that plan is actually doable The chemical refinery is eating up a lot of power and we don't have a lot of uh, energy rods available so I'm thinking we'll be adding more solar panels. We're, we'll be adding solar panels everywhere we can so that that will give us more power for free. There is a lot of traffic on this system. We have one base and then we have four different ships coming in coming out going out and um, there's asteroids over here like, like this this place is just uh, filled with activity and uh, we're being we're being inspected by the military they're looking for something I don't know if, I don't know what they're really looking for but I shouldn't have anything uh, hidden on my ship I think I have uh, already decom yeah, I think I have composted the bodies already. <laughs> so there's, no there's there's nothing on my ship that they should be uh, that, that they would be uh, interested in. So the military has now scanned our ship and they have boarded it to do an inspection. They haven't really found anything as we don't really have anything. I I don't know what they're looking for, honestly. But they're still snooping around on the ship. Oh well. Now, looking at the comfort window, it seems that the uh, light is not giving out any kind of a, a comfort boost. So I'm not sure if the lights are doing anything here. I would assume that they're helping out with the uh, work speed or something but uh, as for comfort they're not doing anything as far as the stats go or at least what's the stats show about them uh, increasing the comfort level it's now day 50 and the trade is drying up so we're moving to the next sector uh, this is a dead end sector we can't really uh, go from uh, we can't really move on from here we just have to go back to that last sector but there is a base here and hopefully we can do some trading here and get something good out of this one and then we'll be going back to that last sector with the uh, with the traffic the base has some scrap items that we can buy so it's not ideal to buy the scrap but it will allow us to expand our ship a little bit more 
I would prefer to get the scrap from derelicts, but there's no derelicts here. And I wanna, I wanna expand the ship, get some defenses up, uh, and then make the uh, survival process a little bit easier before I move before I move to harder sectors. I assume that the game will get harder the further I get from the starting point. Looking at our supplies, we're doing quite all right. Our auction auction uh, resources are pretty good. Food supplies are okay, and the only thing that I'm a little worried about is the energy supply, because that's kind of running low, and yeah, we, we might be in a problem because we're constantly using the chemical refinery, which is eating up our ener energy reserves. Um, so yeah, that could be a problem, but we will see. Hopefully we'll get some solar panels up and running so that we can we can uh, get ourselves some more breathing room. So looking at the trade window, there's a lot of stuff we can buy. We have raw chemicals, we have carbon, we have scrap items. So I'm going to be buying oh, as much of those as I possibly can, uh, making higher tier items and then selling them back to the base. And then we'll go back to the uh, last sector and do some trading over there as well. So yeah, this is going to be a while. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna bore you with just me doing trading and all that. There's not much going on, I think. So I'm gonna be doing that in the background. And I believe that's gonna be it for to this episode. So Starfield is coming out in a few days. And uh, I'll be playing that for I don't know how long it's gonna be. As, how long it's gonna take for me to finish up that game but I will be off playing that no, I'm not be, I'm not gonna be streaming or capturing that gameplay it's just me playing the game so I won't be uh, posting videos I won't be doing uh, and I won't be doing any any space Haven content for a while but we'll be back playing uh, space Haven as soon as I come back from uh, from my Starfield gameplay. Uh, hey, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and will be returning once I come back here and play some more Space Haven.